I don't know. So the gist is, I apologize because I, was, I, I did not queue this up in time for the stream. But if you're interested, there's the Jacob Wolf report on uh, charity for profit about brand fluence, which apparently a lot of, of people promoted. Look, oh, that picture of Charlie reminds me that I have to call him a retard. I'm much more interested in doing that. So I'm gonna find I'm gonna find this real quick. You ready? Moist critical YouTube. Which is the dumbest fucking name on the planet. Anytime you see this guy's face, you know that some retarded ass shit is gonna get said. This right here. I was I was a, a moderator. A moderator requested that I talk about this because it's such a crazy story. It's such a crazy story. When it comes to sad, pathetic things on the internet, I feel like I've seen it all. I'm like the oracle. His, okay, so what this is, there's this whore, this half a bitch on the right, who sits there with her tits out with this guy. This guy to her left is a moderator for her Twitch stream. And it is, Ping, Ping Wino Moist Critical sits there and for 18 minutes, he pumps out this fucking SEO bullshit. Actually, does this even... Ha I wonder if this has like a titty thumbnail. I bet you it does. Yes, okay. So, pretty pretty lady. And it says, saddest Twitch stream ever. Clickbait. This is the Keemstar SEO juice. Yeah, every one of his fucking videos get like five, 4 million views. 4 million views. And he, he has the most like milk toast insipid baseline takes on every fucking thing ever. Hey everybody, it's critical. And I just saw this thing and I'm about to say something very uncontroversial, but I'm gonna act like it's a really big deal and what I'm saying matters. Uh, I have literally sucked the guy Neil Mahan's dick so that I can stay relevant in the search engine algorithm. Um, I never say anything controversial, and it's really advertiser-friendly, so he lets me occupy the e-drama niche on YouTube now. Anyways, I saw this Twitch video, or rather the, the content aggregators in my Discord channel sent me this, and I decided I'm going to make a video in 17 minutes and make $20 million in profit off 4, 4 million views. And that's that's what he does. Every fucking video is exactly the same fucking thing, and he gets this completely wrong. Uh, cause he just like, he watched this one time. He took notes from his discord staff that sent him shit that he wasn't seeing videos. And then he profits, you know, 200,000 fucking dollars off this video. And it's like, here's the gist of it. This guy sits here and she's like, oh my God, this discord Jenny who pays me lots of money is so gross. Ew. Oh my God. You guys are going to give me thousands of dollars to kiss him. Mwah. Oh, I gotta go wash out my mouth now. It's so gross. And he's so ugly and his hands are so small. Oh, would I rather get with my abusive ex-boyfriend or him? I gotta say I'd get with my abusive ex. And he sits there and he says, Wow, she's so mean to him and that's really inappropriate because he's one of her biggest fans. And then for some reason he's staying at her house. It seems really, really mean of her to invite him to her house and then be mean to him like that. It's really bad for people to be mean to people that are mods for the Twitch streams. Like that's his fucking take. It's like, are you retarded? This is a fetish. You dipshit. He's paying her. He's paying her to mog him in front of her audience of tens of thousands of simps because that gets him hard. Why is he staying at her house? Because they fuck after. They're having sex. He's paying her. He owns a business. And then he invites him over, or he invites him onto the stream and he's like, so don't you think it's really inappropriate for her to be like that to you? He's like, no, because I own my own fucking business and I'm paying her to do this to me. He says that it's uh it's it's worth it for the exposure to his business, but he like he owns a business and he's making enough money to hire this fucking hapa prostitute to fulfill his weird sexual desires. Like, ho oh, oh, you are you are a, a Chinese man with small pee pee. I like a white man with big pee pee. Ho oh, oh. and then that like gets him off. It's like it's it's really 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 fucking obvious. Here, I'll just play it. Listen. Okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. Can you poke her up? Fuck her up! This is my- I have small lips. <laughs> you snotted on me! You just snotted on me! This is my alley. 
her her like her voice and her like smug smugness like triggers like a like a a violent instinct in me like i have to, i have to destroy this person and flee the scene like it, it's spe she is specifically playing up this act of like tee -hee, i'm such an evil bitch tee -hee, because it makes his pee pee hard and he doesn't get it he's like wow that's really bad i can't believe she liked that there is nothing jovial about this whole stream at all it is mean-spirited and just really fucking sad. Like I mentioned, there was a couple of times she tried to cushion the blows like, Oh, we're such good friends, this is all okay. And then when one of the questions during Truth or Drink is, What was your favorite thing about Dilly? She says that he's nice and that he's like just super nice and not awkward. Those and that's it. That's the entire video. This gets this 18 minute long video gets 4.1 million views and all he's saying is she's she's mean to him. I need the fucking the missing over the head meme because it's like, well, she's really mean to him. Meanwhile, point he's paying her for this. He's an independently wealthy Asian businessman paying this obvious fucking prostitute like, don't to humiliate him. Like obvious fucking prostitute chat. It's fucking awful. Zoomer slop, it is. It's like slop. Like, and it's just so obvious that he like sat down. He had the shit like ready to go. He recorded himself saying that this is mean. Somebody else edited him for him. He he got the notes from somebody else, and then he just rushes out this video. He doesn't even stop and think. He doesn't even. I don't even think he actually sits down and thinks about what he's saying anymore. Like he's successful enough where he just has a team. And he pays them to write everything for him. And they just go for the most obvious, obvious, uh, um, surface level analysis humanly possible without any kind of, with any kind of bite or, or thought put into it whatsoever. It's really, it's really, I don't know. Every time I, every time I'm forced to see this guy, I'm just like, God, what a fucking dipshit. How do people watch this shit? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.